Okay, let's take a look at part two of Romance here. Now, this section is going to be in major, and it involves a few large chord stretches. Uh, so we'll take a look at those as they go, and we'll talk about how good ways of uh, getting it underneath your fingers pretty quick. All right, so we're going to start here. Uh, we've gone from E major, uh, E minor, excuse me, to E major. So this section starts, if you can just follow along with the tab, your pinky is going to be at the 4th fret on the high E string and your 1st finger is going to be at the 1st fret on the G string and you're going to continue that same picking pattern and the open B string you're going to have the B string is going to be open right in the middle so we're going to have this so you did the picking pattern once on the all the way through with the bass note on the 1st set and then just AMI, AMI on the next two. And then we're going to change the melody notes. The next set is going to be the pinky at the fourth fret, then at the second fret, still holding the first finger on the G string, and then the open high E string. So we have all together. go to this next chord you're going to do a full bar at the second fret and your pinky is going to play the fifth fret on the B string and your um, third finger is going to play the fourth fret on the D string now the picking now is going to be a little bit different than that we're going to move the pattern into the picking pattern your ring finger is now going to start on the second string instead of the first string and you're going to pick across the second the third and the fourth strings with AMI. And the thumb is going to take the low F sharp note here, which is at the second fret on the sixth string. So the picking is the same pattern, just on a little bit different strings. So after you pick across one time, then move the pinky down one fret and pick that twice. Then we start the pattern again on the same chord and then we move the melody note to the third fret so pick up your pinky and put your second finger down on the third fret on the B string. Pick that once and then back to the fourth fret with your pinky. So we have this all together. So going from that change from this E major first chord now this change right here you might want to work on that change by just playing this last shape which is when we had no uh, the open string on the high E so you're doing this in your left hand to this chord shape Practice shifting back and forth. Okay? So after that little melody line here, you're going to shift up to the seventh position. Now, this is going to be a full bar, and when we get up here, it's going to sound like this. So, what we're going to do here is full bar. Uh, across the seventh fret, then the seventh, uh, the second finger is going to play at the eighth fret on the high, uh, on the G string there, and then you're going to have on the high E, you're going to have your third finger at the ninth fret, and we go back to that familiar pattern on the regular strings, which is we're going to be doing the A M I on the high E, the B, and the G strings. Okay, so nothing new there in the right hand. Um, so we have this big chord shape. Now, this is important here. When you play the melody note starting, what you want to do is you want to, when you, you play it with your third finger there, then it goes up to this 11th fret on the high E. You got to really shift your pinky 
really try to move from the base of the pinky so the rest of the hand stays, stays stable. Move up and play the pinky at the 11th fret and make sure you picked up your third finger when you did that. Because then we're going to shift back to the 9, but we're going to play it, move that pinky back to two frets to, in order to do that. So we have. Now the reason why we're doing that is because the next chord has that pinky there already. But we're just going to lay across the 9th fret, your pinky on the top, uh, the high E string of the 9th fret. 9th fret on the B string with your 3rd finger, and the 9th fret on the... Um, the G string with your second finger. And then you continue the pattern again. Now what I did there was after the first uh, arpeggio through with AMI, the last two of the measure are going to be played with your first finger at the seventh fret on the high E and leave the other two fingers where they are. So we have this. Okay, so we have, and then from here we go back up. So that is starting with the seventh fret, the melody note on the seventh fret on the high E, then your pinky at the ninth, then at the eleventh. Okay, it's good stretch workouts here. Uh, and then we come to the ninth position now, barring across the top three strings with your pinky at the 12th fret. You pick across that, just the normal picking pattern once on it. Just if you remember, the whole picking pattern is AMI three times, and the first time you have your thumb on the low uh, bass strings. So that's one time through. So we do that picking pattern one time there. And then we do the picking pattern again with the melody notes moving. So that is just starting with the pinky at the 12th fret, then moving the to the third finger at the 11th, and then the 10th fret with your second finger. And then we come to this A chord. Now this is a pretty big stretch. Uh, you're gonna hold a bar uh, just a small bar across this, the first and second strings at the fifth fret, and then you're going to play the sixth fret on the G string. And while you're doing that, reach up and grab. You got to really maybe bring your hand down, bring your thumb down some, and get your pinky at the ninth fret. And the note in the bass is going to be the open A string. You pick that normal picking pattern, and then. The melody is going to be 9, 7, 5, which is already taken care of from the bar. All right, so that's another chord just like the one we had earlier. When we played this chord and moved up to that chord in the seventh position, play those, isolate those changes, and work on them. The idea is when you leave a chord, Relax the hand a lot. Don't have tension in your hand as you're changing to the next chord. That'll really smoothen up those changes. And when you're doing this one, when you're coming from here, just practice the last chord that you came from, go into that next one, and try to have a very relaxed feel between the two chords. Like, as soon as I leave, I let go of all the tension in my hand as I come to this one and apply the pressure at the very last moment. Sometimes it's good to do like a breathing, breathe with it, like in, then out, in. Just it gets a, a rhythm to it and it helps your body relax and stay relaxed between the shifts. That's when people really get tense is when they, they just kind of, then they just blow it. So we just want to keep it very relaxed between the changes and you'll be able to do some pretty difficult chord changes from that. So after this melody line here, we come to the second position here, and you do a full bar, um, and then you have your pinky here at the top on the fourth fret on the high E, 
Then the fourth fret here for your third finger on the B, and then your fourth fret on the G string with your second finger. Full bar of the second, and we'll do the picking pattern once on that, and then we're going to do the melody notes, move them around again, which is going to be the fourth fret, shift the pinky up to the fifth fret, then lift up the pinky, and it's going to be the second fret, which is why we had to do that full bar. So we have this. And then we end the song with kind of the same figure we did before to end the first half of the song, but instead of an E minor chord, it's an E major chord, which makes it uh, a little bit bigger stretch here. And we have the same pattern that we did before too, where we we followed the we added the bass note to every set of AMI. So every time you hit A here, you're gonna hit uh, the bass note. So you're gonna start the bass note on. You're gonna hold an E major chord, standard E major with your first finger at the, uh, the uh, first fret on the third string, and then the second fret on the fourth and fifths here. We have the thumb is gonna be on the D string, and then do AMI on the first through third strings. Remember A and P were hit together. Then you're gonna move the thumb down to the fifth string. Now this is a stretch. You thought you were almost done with the stretches, but we have another one. And you're gonna reach your pinky all the way to the fourth fret on the sixth string. And you just rotate your wrist around to be able to reach that. And then the two open strings open E's, the 6th string, and the high E together. Okay, so this thing obviously has some big stretches in it, but you should just work on them like we were talking about, isolating the changes, and it should get pretty smooth pretty quickly. Um, now the way this song is typically played, there's repeats. Uh, so you will play the first section, followed by the second section, then go back to the first section. Sometimes people play it, they will repeat the first section, then they will go to the second section, then they'll come back and play the first section once. Um, it's really been done quite a few times. It's, there's no really big indications on the official music. Um, there is no really official music for this piece. This is an anonymous piece uh, written, you know, centuries ago. So. Um, or maybe not since you know quite a while ago so you what you want to do is just take it and uh, you know if you want to do the repeats or if you like a certain section more than the other um, repeat it you know and end with it or whatever but uh, it's all a great workout it's a great consistent arpeggio pattern and it's got some good chord work in it so hope you guys enjoy it uh, please go to guitarlessons365.com and let me know what other types of pieces you would like to learn okay I'll see you guys soon bye bye